All right, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another player housing video today. This one is called Neon Sky Suite, furnished and expanded by Nizon or Nizon. It's N double I Z O N. I am in Neon at the moment. So we are over here. This is the Astral Lounge. This is the core, and you pop in right here. That's where the elevator is. So you're just going to make your way down here. This is the same tower where you can go to Stroud Eklund and all those things. Um, and I'm going to show you the before. The reason I'm going to show you the before is it changed. It's it, Besides being furnished, it's different in size. So here's how you would come in. Very large kitchen space. doors that would drive me absolutely bananas opening and closing and opening and closing. Very interesting, uh, just a strange use of space, if you ask me. And this is 200,000 credits in the game you buy it from the bartender in the, uh, the club, excuse me. So this is the balcony. Uh, the balcony does not change with the, the mod. I just wanted to show it to you so you knew what it was. Stop over here. We'll just take a nice little look. And this is it unfinished. And now let's take a look at it completed. Non-functional, that seems like an oversight. It wasn't functional in the base game either, but... Hmm. I'm guessing that's not supposed to be like that. Might need to report that to the mod author. Bathroom seems untouched. Okay. Yep, reachable. Pretty cool stools. I like the wraparound bar. That's very nice. Man, had to take a while to uh, place all that glassware. Quite, um, quite luxury... God, can you even reach us? You can if you jump up on the planter. Maybe that's why the planter's there. You know, I wish we could do something with the screens. Put something on, even if it's, I don't know, Starfield commercials or something. I don't know. All right, so now let's go into a completely new section. Well, this just screams high end up in here. <laughs> VHS tape. I love when I find those around, they're so funny. Those are cool. wonder how much of this 
uh, the mod author had to actually just literally build themselves. Or if it's, I don't know, unused space within the structure of Neon, maybe. I like these little lights. Um, is that painting supposed to be sideways? And I'm pretty sure that one's sideways. I mean, it probably just for an aesthetic. All right, let's see what we got here. Unlimited, perfect. Nice. All right, let's try this room. I like the use of the lights right over the posters. This wall texture is very interesting. Oh, I see some uh, mesh flickering there. With mesh flickering, it makes me think that maybe he did hand build this whole structure inside here. Or she, he or she. Can we that? Yep. Oh, fancy. Very fancy digs. Just a 40 there. A 10, that's interesting. There's your unlimited. Okay. Let's close this and so we can see the display. Unlimited, all right. Seems like a Wasted opportunity. I'm not saying this is from the mod author. It's probably part on Bethesda part that that doesn't open. It's a wardrobe or I don't know something. All right, this must be our workshop. Nice. I like how how it's used to hide the shelving. That's pretty cool. Very very well detailed on the shelving. It it looks like I don't know something that you just you would have there. I love this research station. That's a cool research station. Get everything. Oh, I didn't notice those. Pretty cool. Alright, so we have Neon Sky Suite. All of this section here has been added by the mod author. And everything in here is part of the original. So, see if it's something you might think you want to uh, download and add to your game.